Hello there, yes. Yes, it's downtown again. I know I keep doing the same maps over and over again. I'm gonna try to do a different map next time. I got a Serenity map, that's different. No, I know. No, it's not. Uh, well, anyway, I like this match. This is a real good match. Another 20 minute match. Uh, the uh, compression I'm using now is pretty good, so uh, although it takes a hell of a long time to compress these things, once they're compressed, they, they're only a couple couple gigabytes, so that works out pretty well. So, yeah, this match did not start out well. Um, if you look at the mini-map, you'll notice that uh, Red has their prime built, and we have not yet built ours, and consequently we lost center. See, this is a crucial. A lot of maps are like this, you know, you got to get your prime built as soon as possible so you can take center, because a lot of maps are like this. Uh, oh, yeah, here we go. This is kind of an embarrassing situation. You know, I, uh, you know I'm, not, I'm not that quick. I grabbed the mine. This guy jumped in there with the Manta. You kind of need the, the Manta with the mine. Now, he's nice enough to jump out of the Manta and give it to me since I have the mine. And, um, I wasn't trying to be piggy about it, you know, I wasn't going to sit there and say, well, I'm not dropping the mine, man, you just give me the Manta. I wasn't being like that, it's just that I couldn't, I don't actually remember the key to drop the mine. I would have dropped the mine, but he was nice enough to give me the Manta. Unfortunately for both of us, I wasn't, uh, I wasn't so inept as to uh, lose the Manta and the mine. Instead, I actually used it for what I intended to do, so it worked out pretty well. I felt pretty good about that, and, uh... On the whole, we ended up looking pretty good. We've got center now. We've got a pretty good grip on center. Uh, we got all kinds of vehicles defending it. I'm sitting here with the orb holding it. So yeah, I mean, we're doing real good here. Couldn't ask for more. Considering how badly we did at the start, that's a pretty good. That's a pretty, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good way to go. Sorry, it's getting late here. Uh. So I'm feeling pretty good about that. I, I, I don't really know where the red orb is, but we've got all these uh, vehicles defending center, so I feel like hey, I'll go for prime, and immediately I get shot down. So. Attack, That's attack. Bar, of course. Bar gets the shot, and yeah, since that didn't work out, I'm just going to go straight on defense. Uh, use this turret, try to take down that vendor. Try to take down some of these red foot people coming in here. Taking way too long to get this guy. He's just jumping around too much. If he held still, I can kill him. There we go, got him. Bender's down. I feel like I need to jump out of here and grab that orb since it's sitting on the ground. That's something I criticize people for a lot. Uh, didn't have much hope of getting this tank down, but he's pretty well damaged and managed to take him down just as he killed me, so we're still doing good. Fortunately, someone else was nice enough to pick, that, pick up that orb because I didn't really want it again. Uh, rather piggishly grabbing the uh, Berserker there, and uh, I'm going to give up on trying to hit this guy with a shock note. I'm just going to take him down with a black can, because, you know, I'm, I'm no good with hit scan. You get people that ask you that once, well, you, you, why don't you use more hit scan, you know? And, and, you know, it's really just a subtle way of putting you down. It's like, you're no good with hit scan. Okay, I'll, well, I admit it, I'm no good with hit scan, so sue me, you know? I, well, I can hit people with it once in a while. But why should I? You know, when you can hit people with shock balls from halfway across the map like that, take out and take out mantas with your shock balls and your hellbender. You know, as long as you got a hellbender, what do I need hit scan for? I'll just kill everybody with my hellbender. People criticize me for that too because they're fools. That's all right. I should I should use hit scan more. Okay, so uh, now now somebody else is going to try to run the orb, so I'm going to play defense on center while he does that, but he's, he's going to chicken out and come back. So we're all squatting here on center. I'm not going to go on a fence with the bender. I can't really get over the barrier anyway, but... Killing spree. I will be defensive a little bit further up. We had their prime down there for a second. Our orb is uh, our orb uh, got most of the way there and then dropped. So, so uh, yeah, we're losing the momentum a little bit here. The center's under fire. Okay, somebody's picked up orb at center, so that's covered now. It's 
Doesn't look like he's going forward. There's a Paladin in the in the in the uh, in the EP. Got him down. Dodging a few rockets. But yeah, we got to push back to their prime. I mean, we could we could we could we could have won this pretty quick at this point. But uh, you know, the Red's not a total bunch of Red's not a complete bunch of pushovers. I mean, they're gonna they're gonna get back here a little bit. Yeah, here you go. They're coming in with Berserk, and there's the Red Orb Carrier trying to come in. I didn't even see where he won. He's gonna he's gonna go around, no doubt. Our orb appears to be down on the ground, not moving. And now center is down, so that's not so great. Uh, Red Orb's trying to come in, but he's no big threat. We need to build center so we can get the momentum back. One more red guy hanging out by their orb. He's down. So yeah, yeah, they're slowing us down a little bit here. We're not yeah, about to lose a fender though. Yeah, that's not good. Uh, it's gonna get a little bit more desperate. Get a lucky shot on bar there. Uh, this guy is gonna be a little bit much to deal with. Yeah, I think it's it's his buddy with the with an Avril that got me though. Uh, yeah, piggishly trying to go for the Berserk again. I'm going to manage to get this tank, which is a little bit surprising. But then the guy on foot's going to get me with the Avril. There's one Avril shot, there's the other one. Failed to block both of them, went right down. Okay, so we'll grab the Berserk, go forward with the Scorpion. And, uh, uh, the barrier's still there. I could get past that, but I don't really want to take the time to do that. I just want to, just gonna throw, throw scorpion balls in there for whatever that's worth. And here comes the ballad, and he's gonna try and take me out here. I did, could have suicided. I was for sure I was gonna flood that suicide, though, so I got out and just finished him off with the, with the link anyway, since I had Berserk, that was possible to do. So once more, we're back to trying to hold on to Prime. So see, yeah, we, uh, we 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 did pretty well there for a little while, but they're they're trying to push back now. And I've got the ore. They're not completed either. I'm gonna make one more run at the, at the enemy Prime because I see the red orb sitting there on the ground, so I know where it is. That means we've got the opportunity to do it. This is Flygex here. I kind of thought he was a little bit of a pushover, but he got a few kills on me. And I could have stopped and got that armor. It might have helped, but nope, here's Bar. Bar gets the kill right at the end there. The and there goes center. Well, that was the risk. You know, I knew red, I knew the red orb was sitting out there. Somebody should have jumped on it. They probably should have. And I should have been a little bit quicker to get out of this guy's way. That's a big deal. When you're in the bender and you see a scorpion coming, you always want to anticipate which way he's going to go for his suicide attack and not be there when he comes in. Okay, now we're getting to be in trouble. We got, uh, we got Red just took down our Prime. I can defend the Prime with this uh, Hellbender pretty well, but uh, I do kind of need someone else to come in here with me. Now, this is one of those times when I ask myself, where's the rest of the team? There's four or five or six other people on this team. Why am I the only one defending Prime? Look at the minimap, we've got the tank. You know, there's nothing else going on on this map that we really need to deal with right now, except that we need to hold our prime. I'm the only one here. Why am I the only one here? The bender's almost dead. I need to come in here. We need to build our prime back. There's not really much else I can do. I got a suicide on the red orb. So they don't, they don't cap it right away. And our team is still ignoring our own prime. Oh, here they are. What are they doing over here? You know, I gotta ask, you know, this is one of those situations I gotta ask, you know, where, you know, the, what, the rest of the team just decided to disappear for about a minute there. A rather crucial minute. I'm very disappointed. I'm very, 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 very disappointed. That's all I can say. Well, fortunately, we are gonna come back a little bit here. I'm gonna get a nuke in here. We got a couple of vehicles in there. So we're not, we're not, you know, I, we haven't totally given up on the game, I guess. I'm not sure what was going on there. I, th I, I seen in the in the text there that a couple of people were uh, 
Well, charge. now, see, now Red's building our prime again. I mean, you know, what the hell? What the hell? And there were a couple people in here, you know, engaged in a little bit of sniping back and forth, you know. Uh, there was something, there was some kind of criticism about uh, faggotry going on. Uh, I'm not sure what that was. I think Shane X did, uh, felt that it was wrong to kill people with the Manta, I think. I think he was criticizing someone on uh, Red for using the Manta to kill people with. Uh, to you. Apparently, it's, uh, it's, there's no honor in killing tanks with the Manta or something Your like that. Is under attack. Um, well, you know, you got this sort of thing, what can I say? But why that should bring our entire team to a standstill, I don't know. I'm very disappointed. Very, very, very disappointed, yeah. It's, it's a shame, there's no honor in this. Well, what can I say? So yeah, we're down, we're down to 65. After all that, after all that, we were doing so great before. We had to push back to their prime, but now we're down to six. Oh God, we're down to 43, 40 point, 35. Oh my God. It really looks like we're gonna lose here, doesn't it? Yeah. Well. There's a tendency to get disappointed, but you know, it's like, it's like Clint Eastwood said, you know, it's, uh, there's gonna come a time when it looks like you're not getting, you're not gonna make it. And that's when you gotta get mean, see? I learned everything I need to know from life from Clint Eastwood, Blue pretty much. Blue core is secure. Blue core is oh, well. Oh, there's the note. There's the, there's the news. Yeah, this, this is the kind of game, you know, I, I, I feel, I'm suspicious of games like this, because I feel like, you know, these people have got to be putting me on. This isn't for real. This is all staged, you know? I'm just, I'm living in a dream world. It's all an illusion. You know, put a, I'm not going to try to shoot the arrow with those scorpion balls going off. I'm going to peek out here, look around, what's going on? Okay, it's all clear. Now shoot the scorpion. And I'm not going to try to remote control over there. I'm just going to shoot the fucker and get out of there. All right. Now I think we got a hold on this bastard. Okay, go forward. Okay. Got to get the bender up on the dock. Pretty important at this point. And then heal his ass. I'm gonna spend another, I'm gonna spend about a minute or two just healing this Bender because he's really important to us right now. These Benders can do a real good job of holding these Primes if they're up on the dock like this. You just have to keep healing them so that they don't die because if they die, this node's going down. That's all there is to it. Meanwhile, we've got other people on our team actually attack. Oh, the center is down, so excellent. And there goes the bender. He's, you know, he's right on the stick there, man. As soon as the center goes down, he's right out there. So that's that's exactly what you need to see. Yeah, they're paying attention now. I probably could have uh, skipped the suicide there, but it is important. To, but you know, Red's capped the center again, so I felt like it's important to bring it down as soon as possible. And since I'm kind of being of no other great use at this point, I'm just kind of suicide on the red orb there. Okay, so that takes me back to center. Attack the enemy prime node. And could have grabbed that uh, scorpion, but uh, I feel like I want to keep uh, the center from going down because I'm not really sure where our orb is. Oh, there he is. Yeah, he, he was off on an expedition somewhere, but he came back to the path. Apparently, he felt like he didn't have a chance to make it, which is probably true. Back in the turret, I, I need to kill this bender. There we go and then take out the foot people. Uh, center's about to go down. Yeah, there it goes. Should have jumped out and grabbed the orb before that happened, but, ah. Uh, Attack the center node. Yeah, I really should have jumped out and grabbed the orb before that happened, but shit happens kind of fast sometimes. All right. And sometimes, rather than suicide into the node, I will suicide into that bender to kind of reduce their capability to defend. And since the Berserk was there, that was another that was another incentive to do so. And that worked out well. We managed to take down the Rogue Carrier and actually cap the center, so we're in a somewhat better position now. We've got their Prime under attack, which is good. Let me see if there's anything for me to grab here. No, no. Okay, I'll just go in here and see what I can do with this thing. And uh, for once, I'm going to manage to sit here and actually uh, help get the node down before I get Avril. So we've now got two benders in their prime, which is excellent. I need to get one of them up on this dock. 
I think we're going to lose both of them almost immediately, which is pretty disheartening, but that's the way it goes. Okay, that's down. We got one bender up on the dock. Now we got, oh, there goes one, and there goes the other one. Well, that's, that's the way it goes. That happened pretty quick. All right. Now we have no vehicles in here except for these uh, scorpions. I will drive the scorpion up on the dock if we have no other vehicles in here because it, I just feel it's real important to have a vehicle up on the dock. And if nobody else wants to drive one up there, and if I'm not going to take the time to go out there and look for a bender to bring in here, I'm going to get a vehicle up on the dock and do what I can with that. And then uh, yell for help, get somebody else to bring in a bender. Yeah, uh, get a bender in here is what it comes down to. I'm eventually going to ask for somebody to do that. I don't know, maybe I've done it already. And someone will respond to that. They'll eventually get a bender in here. That's good enough. I'm kind of hanging around here by these, by these steps. If I see that, if I, if I see the nuke come in, I'm going to drive backward up those steps to avoid getting killed so I can come out, so I can hop out back later and hopefully take the node back. You'll often see a lot of people with the orb, they'll hang around the doorway so they can duck out as soon as the nuke shows up so that when, uh, once the blast is over, they can jump out and cap the nose back right away, which is a pretty clever thing to do. That uh, orb carrier here is not really doing that. I'm kind of thinking maybe he should because I know someone grabbed the nuke a little while ago, but I never really saw it go off. I don't really know who had it. Maybe we had it. Yeah, I've just put a call out for somebody to bring in a bender. Uh, we're slowly putting damage on the core, but we're still way behind. We're down to about three minutes here. Red core is under attack. Uh, holding as much of the map as we do, uh, I don't know. Maybe we, we could probably win this in overtime even without hitting the core, but we will hit the core. And I've just stranded this uh, scorpion. Oh, okay, there we go. Got it free. That's good. That red orb was up on the platform. That's, okay, here comes our bender. Now we're good. I just need to cover for him to make sure nobody kills him before he can get up on the dock. Yeah, like this guy. Oh, he's nimble, isn't he? I need to go back in there and get him. He's, a, he's, he's threatening our bender. I can't let him do that. There we go. Got him. That was bar. Very nice. And I'm just going to suicide into the... No, oh, there he goes. Oh. Yeah, I saw that tank up there. I've just got to make sure he doesn't kill me. I want to try to grab... Ah, oh, I didn't Attack see those guys coming. Okay. I think they're going to get away with it. Yeah, they got away with it. Damn, I thought I had that nuke, too. Well, I'm going to I'm gonna put a message out there and say, uh, Red has the nuke. Or the NKEs, I think. I oh, not good, not good. They've, they've, they've killed their prime. They've got, like, a paladin in there. They've got the nuke. That's not good. I'm not sure how we get out of this. I don't think I was on the I don't think I was on the scene to see it. Uh, I decided since I was here, I'd probably better try to grab our uh, our orb, and I was not there for that either because this guy stuck the uh, I stuck the uh, stuck the uh, the dead charge on it, but uh, his prime was down, so he wasted that dead charge. And then I managed to shoot him out of the air with the flat cannon, so that that worked out pretty well. Uh, maybe I'll actually, no, I'm not going to get the cap that time either. I never get the cap. That's really unfair. Well, I'll have to work harder at it, I guess. Was going to go on defense, but the bender became available, so let me go forward with that. We're still a minute from overtime, and we're still way behind. I'm going to get a real nice kill right there. Yeah, this is going to wrap it up. Yeah, if I can get up on this dock, which I'm pretty sure I will. Yeah, that's all That's all we need, really. Yeah, we got it now. That other bender is down there, but he's going to chicken out. It's, it's amazing how much being up on this dock gives you an advantage. You can really, you can really, uh, you can really get a lot of kills up here when you're in the bender or the tank. You know, you can have benders and tanks and all kinds of shit driving here, and you can still get well. Maybe not. The tank's a little bit of a tall order. If the tank rolls in here, you're kind of fucked. You can get them sometimes if you got, you know, if you got other people firing at them. You can still get them, but it's a little difficult. 
All right. We just about got this now. Now, we're still way behind, but we're going to start putting some damage on it now. We're in overtime now. We're ticking down. And obviously, they're ticking down faster than we are because we've got the entire map except for their core. And, but now we're doing damage on 12. Yeah, there we go. That's it. Somebody got the nuke or the mine on it or something. That's pretty much it. That's, that's, that's the match of the week for downtown. Have a good evening.